Hey, welcome back. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. How you been? So let's dive into message of the day, right? Um, so let's talk about the Capricorn, Capricorn full moon that takes place tomorrow, Tuesday, or whenever you're watching this, that's the energy that's in the air. Um, I'll talk about it because that's what everybody wants to hear, and then I'll tell you what Alvin wants to say about it, right? <laughs> um, we like Capricorn energy, right? Because like, like ideally the best, let's go back a step. Ideally, a perfect pair in the Zodiac would be um, a Capricorn and a Cancer because they're across from each other. Um, a Cancer and a Water sign also does well, but you see the balance there? We like balance. We're in Cancer season still. Um, cancers are thriving. Water signs are just feeling seen. And now we're going to go into this Capricorn full moon, which I absolutely love because this is an aspect to Alvin like stability. Who do I want to be? in this life? How stable do I want to show up? What does a stable relationship look like for you? It doesn't matter what sign you are. This correlates with everyone, but I'm just trying to get you to context to see how you really can work with the energy that's taking place as the seasons change, as the months change, as the moon transitions. Like, embody this energy. It is like, it can really, it's a learning opportunity. And I like how I haven't posted in a couple days because I think it allows you to experience life and then we come back and, or you come back for a message of the day and we can talk about what we experienced and that's the whole life, that's the whole point of life is to experience things, reflect on them so that you can be a stronger, more stable, solid person. And now that we are in the Capricorn full moon, which takes place on Tuesday, you really are probably transitioning your life. You're like, okay, I want to be stable now. Maybe there's things in your life that are transitioning that are like, I'm looking for something that's a little bit more stable, a little bit more solid, right? Questions to ask yourself is like, like, how do I want to show up in stable relationships? What does stability look like for me? Who do I want to be, right? These are all questions that you very much could be coming into in, into the limelight. You're, you know, maybe you were on a break for a little bit or you were doing something or something shifted in your life. And now all of a sudden these things are coming into play. And now you're stepping up, showing up to a reading, you know, three minutes in and we're talking about stability in your life. You think that's just a coincidence, you know? This is your, this is your, this is your flag down. Hey, I think it's time to talk about what's stable for you, what stability looks like. It's time to make that declaration, not necessarily sign it, but it's let's, let's put that in paper, right? If you're big on, 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 on rituals, you can write those things down, right? Full moon, you should be getting um, writing down what you want to release, right? But you can also add things, okay, what do you want to make space for? I want to remove toxic people, places, and things so that I can, so I can have space for a stable, healthy relationship. So I can have space for more income in my bank account if I get rid of this that's taking too much of my time. You know, it's tip for tap, one for the other, the yin to the yang, the black to the white. Um, I also wanted to talk about some Capricorn energy as well. Um, you're really looking at the underlining issues when it comes to problem solving. Right? You're probably going to become a little bit more disciplined. Um, and in many means, in many senses, like you're starting to see the healing capacity, the healing components to everything that you're doing. Like, wow, that actually gave me so much insight. It was almost healing me in some sort of way, right? It's like an emotional healing at the same time. Because um, Capricorn moons, just, just throwing this out there, right? The moon is in Capricorn, but if you have a Capricorn moon, you actually are really emotional, but you don't show it. But once you have that one person that you show it to, like they see it all. They see the, the beautiful, like emotional Capricorns that they can be. Um, but you don't really necessarily show it to everybody. Let's get a message of the day here. Seven of Pentacles wanting to fly out. We're being picky. We're, we, we've done work to ourselves and we're not quite sure where it's going, right? You plant seeds and you're like, okay, now what? 
So the energy we're sitting in is a little bit confusing because his the pictation here is he's always confused, right? So think about your life, where you are. Hey, uh, Alvin, I planted a seed or something manifested and I don't know when it's going to blossom. I don't know where it's blossoming to. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, that's the whole point of this card. It's you can All you can do is plant seeds for the long-term, long-term investments. Are you planning your long-term investments? Big aspect of Capricorn, Capricorn energy, Earth energy. Are you planting, are you looking at long-term investments or are you still on the short wind fixes at the moment? It'll say a lot about where you are, your readiness in life. If you are thinking about that far out, yes, I know. And then Alvin, what about being present, you know, power of now and being present in the moment? Absolutely. Going inward and being present to swords going inward is also a big aspect of Capricorn, full moon. Going inward and understanding what that looks like for you. For myself, I need to see some sort of um, stability in the future in order to push me to do work now. Everybody's different, right? I can live in the present, but as quickly as I'm in the present, it can quickly go away because that's happened to me in my life before. So I do plan a little bit far out, sometimes maybe too far out, but I've gone inwards and I know what makes me feel safe and secure. Let's kind of just get some cards here. Um, we're talking about stability. So let's see what the universe wants to talk about. Page of Cups, some of you might have met somebody. Haha, <laughs> let's let's recap from, from, from my last reading. Did you guys meet somebody? I told you all we're gonna meet somebody. Um, cute, flirty, young, water sign. <laughs> Can't just go feel Pisces. <laughs> uh, eight of Cups. Um, a lot of emotions this weekend. Oh, the High Priestess. <laughs> Pisces energy. Some of you could have met a Pisces. Some of you um, had this this is a recap here some of you this is very lovely energy here this is very an emotional water energy with the piscean energy at the same time very deep uh th this is very deep right here this is very very deep right so um something happened here you met someone or you had a very deep conversation intellectual conversation very touching emotional moment uh there was some sort of depth behind something here and at the same time it was very innocent it was very flirty um, I don't know. I've never done a recap, and that's kind of what came out. Like, that was recapping. Okay, anything we need to know? Some of you really, if I, okay, if it's not even, you ha if you have not met someone, it very well can be, and you know, I don't even read that sometimes. I don't even read this as a person. I typically do messages for self. So I'm going to take this back to self. You're, you're, you're emotional. You're in your, you're in your feels, and which I'm not saying it's a bad thing, right? We're looking for something here. You're looking for something very, very deep. You're looking for something deep. And I gotta be honest, with, 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 with this, like I'm planting my seeds and I'm going inward, I like this. It's like you're doing the work, you're diving in, but you're really not sure where it's going. You have no idea where it's going. You have no idea what you're doing. You do, right? But like you don't know what direction it's heading in. Um, it's just feeling, feeling after feeling. Like, okay, I'm doing some work. I'm putting some, planting some seeds. Some things are blossoming. Now, I'm just going to prep you here. I know I hope that you really are diving deep and you're feeling things out and not just being logical and being indecisive and not being able to make a decision. The, 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 what I'm seeing here alone is like if you're in a position where you have to make decisions and choices and, 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 and you're planting seeds and you're not sure what direction to go into next, I got to be honest, continue to feel your way through right? Because the stability will make its way to you. You will manifest the stability that you need here with the magician, the world, and the nine of pentacles. This is stable, solid energy. Bottom of the deck, why it's all happening? Because there is stability within reach. There is stability. There is manifestations. Wow, look at that six of wands. There is success. There is victory. There are celebrations to be had, right? This is just energy that we're in. It is deep. There's something deep going on. Deep waters, right? I see bottom of the deck why it's all happening. Something is feel, you feel good. Something is exciting. Something, something sparked your interest. Something is like, wow, 
something gave you some wow something gave you hope to continue on something made you more of a master than you already were you gained some insights some 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 solidity some vali more validity to something that now has enhanced your overall purpose in life and stability capricorn full moon it's about stability something has been added to your your life a download a message right i, I want to be nosy and i want to know what this is about and i'm never nosy i don't know what this is about it doesn't have to be your story but it's just something that was confusing the moon card pisces do you see the amount pisces is here pretty heavy right now, there could be a dark side to the Pisces energy because you could just be so deep into the, the dark side of it, but in that darkness is really when you can, where you will see the light, right? In darkness, there is still light. And something might have been confusing and you go out this week and I want you to, you might, you might leave this message like, Alvin, what the fuck did he even tell me? It's confusing, right? Sometimes I confuse myself and I don't even know what the message is, nor do I know what to title it. What I'm trying to say is that when things are confusing, oh, and I can speak to this, when things are confusing as fuck, something massive is about to happen in your life. And you don't even know it. Because the pictation here, right, the, the, the two towers are there, right, and then there's, this is the path, and the moon is lighting the path. The pictation is just because it's confusing, it's not to give up. Oh, let me give up because I don't really, I can't see what's far out. I can't see this, this depth. I just feel that this is deep, but I have no idea where it's going. The pictation is to keep going. Let the moon light you. Let the moon, let the Capricorn moon guide you to stability. That's the message of the day. My name is Alvin Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now.